All right, everybody, in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the F-16's flight control system. Very quick, just so you understand how it works, and then a tip on getting uh, your trim set for more precise CCIP runs, whether you're using rockets, uh, guns, bombs, etc. We're gonna get that pepper rock solid. All right, let's get started. So the way the flight control system works in these fly-by-wire aircraft, this is common across uh, a lot of them, because pretty much goes the same for the Hornet. Even goes, uh, I think it's the same way for like an Airbus. Uh, but on a fly-by-wire aircraft, you get a vote, right? So your stick is not directly connected to the elevator. Instead, what you're doing is commanding something, and then the computer is going to move the flight control services, so the elevator flapperons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's going to move those flight control surfaces to give you what you want. So in terms of maneuvering the F-16 in normal operations, this is going to be uh, commands for things like G. So you're commanding G or you're commanding a roll rate left or right or commanding some yaw with your rudder. As far as how um, the pitch works, so the pitch is G. So up here in the HUD is the current G of the aircraft. Remember, 1G is just static, like you're sitting in your chair at work is 1G. Um, more Gs, it feels like more weight on your butt. Less Gs is less. Zero is zero gravity. So you see it went negative there. But what you're doing with the stick is commanding G. So just to demonstrate that real quick, we're straight level at 1G. I can pull the nose up roll the plane over it's gonna seek 1g back to one you can roll it level or even maybe like a turn like this 1g now the way to use the trim nose up or nose down if you wanted to trim it a little bit it's pretty sensitive so I tend to just hold the stick if I'm making a turn because typically you're not turning all that much but if you wanted to you could bump the nose trim up a couple of times as I have done and now with my hand off the stick, it's got 1.7G and you notice I've got a pretty level turn going here. Now, like I mentioned, I typically don't use it for turns. I just hold it because you're not usually turning for very long, but that is one thing you can do with it. Now, what you can use it for sort of tactically is to get a more stable shot when you're doing some CCIP stuff. Uh, so at these uh, smoke trails here, we got some targets and the aircraft has rockets on board. And I'll just uh, make a couple of passes and use the trim. So if you leave it at 1G, when you dip your nose down 20, 30 degrees to make a like CCIP or a rocket or strafe or something like that, you're gonna notice you'll have to hold the stick forward in order to keep that centered. And if you bump the trim forward a couple of times, it takes less pressure to hold it forward, less pressure is better i like to say that you can make micro adjustments instead of macro if you're not holding in a bunch of pressure so down here we got some targets i'm going to roll in on them bump the trim down a little bit and demonstrate actually first i'll demo with no trim all right no trim it's going to be trimmed at 1g basically and you notice that this oh it's there we go 1g you see how it drifts up you have to like make some motions to make it stay. I'm gonna try that pass again. And this time I'm gonna bump the nose trim down once or twice so it's trimmed out to like 0.8G, somewhere around there, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. And that'll give me like a rock solid pipper and it'll make it much easier to make a more precise shot. There's my smoke. So rolling back in. All right, bumping the trim down a couple of times here. There we go. All right, that's pretty solid, about 0.8. 
All right, nice. So that was about two bumps forward. I had to kind of fiddle with it a little bit. The trim's pretty sensitive. Um, just takes a little practice. But now I've left it there. I haven't touched it, so it's still gonna be, it's gonna seek 0.8 now. So let's try this again on a different target. Some smoke up here. There we go. Nice, pretty steady pepper here at 0.8. Run, but you can't hide. All right, this time I'll make a pass with the gun. If you're interested in learning more about the flight control system, I have another video that's very thorough. This is just very brief. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful. Please hit the subscribe button. Later.